kind of a slow start tonight. Talk about uh, how you sort of picked it up really in the third. What did you tell your guys uh, as you uh, kind of took the floor in, uh, in the second half? Well, it, it, it's 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 hard to play this late at night, first of all. You yeah. know, so our guys aren't used to doing that. Most of our games are at 5 o'clock, so it's a little bit different. And uh, sitting around all day waiting, and, and we warmed up, and then uh, – the other game got done a little bit late, so I thought we started really flat in the first half and we didn't have the energy we usually come out with. Um, but you know what? Uh, Capital Christian came out in the first half and they were playing hard and uh, we weren't executing the way we do. So we just said, well, we got to get back to what we do, execute, uh, keep our defense contained. It's a big court and, and uh, force them to shoot and let's get out and in transition and try to get the game going up. We really talked about winning all four quarters tonight, so we made a real big point of that in the third quarter. We won the first two, but not really convincingly. In the third quarter, we kind of opened it up. You've always been somebody who, who loves to give, as they say. You're the kind of guy that I've always known that has been uh, – charity is a big part of your name. What does it mean to come down here every year to Baltimore and to play at an event like this? Um, we've been here every year, so we love it, and uh, we like the opportunity of having the chance to bring our team down and to, uh, uh, you know, it's for a good cause. So anytime we can do something like that and, and, and have fun, that's what it's about. Oh, hey, uh, Lester, um, 24 points tonight. First off, where are you from originally? You're from New York, correct? Yes. What, what part of New York? Uh, Long Island. Now, what does it mean uh, with the rich history that St. Benedict's brings? What does it mean to you to come down to a school like St. Benedict's, uh, to play with national talent, to play a national type of schedule, uh, especially with tomorrow night with the matchup you have with St. Francis? Uh, it means a lot <clears throat> uh, coming to a school like this. It's a great experience. Like you said, it's a national schedule playing with some of the best players in the area, and I feel like it would be a great game and a nice matchup to win. That's my guy. I, I'd like to ask you a question about, um, you haven't chosen a college yet, correct? Right. Right. What factors are you looking at in your decision-making process? Um, and I ask that because, you know, young people are going to be in your position eventually and I was looking for some advice that you may be able to offer them. Um, for me, I'm thinking of college decision. Making a college decision is going to be based off of where I'm going to go and feel comfortable, you know, and have a great team. Of course, I want to make I'm going to, to, I'm going to like to have a team where everybody's good, you know, including, you know, in women and women. You know, the one we have to do to get to the next level, you know. And um, basically, I just feel like I'm feel, you know, family and basically, you know, win. That's it. And coach, some of the scouts, that, at least in some of the reports I heard, uh, they described your recruiting effort as a slow burn this year. Is that an, an accurate description? And are you satisfied? Are recruiting as a slow burn our, on our guys? You mean? Or, I get, I, it strikes me as it may have been a painful process, uh, but... I don't know if I understand the question properly, so maybe you can rephrase it. I, I wish I could. A, a, a scouting report I saw um, in the last couple of days said that your recruiting efforts could, is best described as a slow burn, possibly getting hot. Well, I don't know what they mean by that. I, I think uh, the one thing we really focus on at St. Benedict's is making our players better. Um, and really trying to develop them in all facets of the game. You know, we really focus on the uh, IQ, the execution, our skill level, and, and getting in great shape. So um, when they say that, I don't know, I think people underrate us a lot, and we, we go out and we beat big teams. So we did it every year. Last year we beat Oak Hill and, and Monverde this year, and no one thought we could go down and beat Hillcrest and, uh, and uh, Huntington Prep in the opening weekend, and we beat them both pretty convincingly. So. I think that opened eyes. And I'd like to ask you a question about tomorrow since you pointed it up. Uh, you've seen St. Francis play, not the same team. Um, what, what are your expectations? So how, do you, how do you play a matchup with them? Well, you, you know, we, uh, the, thing, the thing we try to do is play our game, and we don't really focus as much on, on what the other team is doing. St. Francis is a great team. They have some really good players. The guard is really, really tough and talented. 
Um, they're an inner city Baltimore school that's going to be scrappy and play hard. They're going to defend, and, and it's going to be a, it's going to be a game. So we're, we're our goal is to match the intensity and physicality, and to play our our style of play. After this great team win, what would you do even better the next game? Um, I, I think we need to execute a little bit better and, to, and, and have a better shot selection. What was your goal besides, you know, what would your goal tonight besides winning? You guys want to take it? Um, yeah. Um, so, pretty much this is our goal every game. Coach, um, he only talks, he only talks about his, uh, you know, his team the players. Um, winning all four quarters, you know, Having a, a specific amount of rebound and um, turnovers, the middle turnovers, and uh, pretty much that is the team. And so, those, those are pretty much those we have for every day. It's <clears throat> the same thing. You gotta win all four quarters, you know, if you shoot the ball, you know, pretty much just put the ball in the best the player of the team. That's it. You like, sure. With what you've had for point guard wise, uh, from Jason Williams to Trayvon Duvall to Noah Farrakhan, what does Jake Bentlow bring um, as far as an addition to you? And you again, you've had some of the best point guards really ever to grace New Jersey. What, where do where do you see Jake kind of ranking as far as great guards? You know, uh, Jake doesn't even play point for us right now. Ebo, e yeah, Ebo, Ebo, uh, he brings the in as our point guard. Jake handles it when we, we take Ebo out. But, uh, you know, Jake's doing great. Jake's, uh, Jake's a, a great kid. He's playing hard. I think he's improving a lot. And, uh, you know, I think he's going to do well. And, you know, he's probably going to be an high degree player and do really, really well. Considering the fact that you are the number five team in the country and you play a national schedule, as you mentioned, with wins like Hillcrest and Huntington, it just kind of seems like you always like to have the national type of schedule. And you'll again, you'll play in prime time. You'll play at, and I think, in Canada, I believe. A, I know you're playing the St. James Invitational in Hagerstown. Obviously, the goal this year is to get back to New York. I know we're trying to take this one game at a time, but how good is this team at this moment? It, you know, uh, I wasn't happy with our performance tonight. Uh, I mean, the guys know that, so I thought we were, we were a lot better than we showed tonight. But um, it, listen, every team is different. Every team we have, I think, is a very good team. Um, the thing that makes it special is the chemistry, and I think the guys will agree with that and, and tell you that the teams that execute the best and have the best chemistry are the teams that become the teams that are the best teams we've ever had. Last year's team was really not good in December at all, and the guys here saw us and we went one and one down here and we weren't really that good. But by, by the end of January, we were probably the best team in the country last year in February. We beat three top 15 teams in the country. and didn't lose for six straight weeks. So to me, it's about getting better and developing along the way and creating uh, unselfish play and creating chemistry and love for each other, as Precious put it. He wants to be at a school that has a good tradition, that wins, and it feels like he's part of the family and everybody has the same agenda. I mean, if you can do that, that's when you have something special. A lot of teams have great players. But a lot of great players are not sharing the ball. It's not always that good. So we try to we try to really focus on that. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.